two bundles of muscle allow us to flex our digits, the flexor digitorum profundus and the flexor digitorum superficialis. Up until the metacarpophalangeal joint, the tendons from the two muscles are encased in a common synovial sheath. As they pass the proximal interphalangeal joint, the tendon of the flexor digitorum superficialis splits into two, which insert onto the base of the middle phalanges. This is known as the camper chiasma. Meanwhile, the flexor digitorum profundus tendons continue through the chiasm to insert at the base of the distal phalanges. The contraction of the flexor digitorum superficialis muscle leads to the flexion of the proximal interphalangeal joint, while the contraction of the flexor digitorum profundus muscle leads to the flexion of the distal interphalangeal joint as well as the proximal interphalangeal joint. In the case of flexor tendon lacerations, one may differentiate between a lacerated FDS tendon and FDP tendon via the quadriga phenomenon. The quadriga phenomenon describes the fact that the four flexor digitorum profundus tendons are all connected together in the forearm, meaning that a contraction of one of the tendons will have to be accompanied by the contraction of the other tendons as well. In the case of a physical examination, one can isolate the flexor digitorum superficialis tendon by fully extending the proximal interphalangeal and distal interphalangeal joints of the other digits. The affected flexor digitorum superficialis tendon can then be tested by asking the patient to flex the proximal interphalangeal joint. This maneuver eliminates the effect of the flexor digitorum profundus tendon by inhibiting its contraction due to the extension of the other connected tendons on the other digits. On the other hand, the flexor digitorum profundus tendon can easily be tested by holding the metacarpophalangeal and proximal interphalangeal joints in extension and then asking the patient to flex the distal interphalangeal joint.